Hi, I'd now like to show you what you can do with layer association. As you can see here, I've created a carcass for a cabinet and I have lots of different vectors here. If I just right click on the 15mm slot and you can see it's just left that and they are all created on separate layers so I have 6mm holes and there I have a groove and I also have the frame so I'll just turn everything back on and I have also created toolpaths so if I just edit this toolpath and here you can see I have created the toolpath on the inside of the groove so instead of selecting the vectors I have actually selected the layer that I wanted to use for this particular piece if I selected a different layer for example a frame then the frame layer then it would create exactly the same thing but on the frame so it would use the outside vectors instead of the groove so I'm going to keep the toolpath name as groove here and I'm going to calculate now I'm just going to go into the 3D view turn on my vector visibility so you can see the grooves are here and I'm going to calculate now so there you can see the grooves that I have created there so I'm now going to change it to along the line instead of inside of the line and recalculate that that's just changed it so it's cutting along the line. If I close this profile in and I go into the frame toolpath and edit that, here you can see this is set to that particular layer for the frame. So I'll just close that and now I'm going to go into the 2D view and I'm going to create a new vector layer and I'm going to rename that to 20 millimeter hole and I'm going to create a diameter here and it's going to be 20 mil diameter just zoom in on that there and I'm going to copy this over onto this shelf and going to shift select the outside box and center it do the same thing for this one and center that so that's in the center of the two shelves I can also change the color of these two holes by just selecting here under the color and let's change this into a dark green color and then okay that so that's changed the color of these two particular holes so I'm now going to machine these holes here and I'm going to select toolpaths and I could use a profiling toolpath but I'm just going to drill these parts out just move this so it tiles onto here and instead of selected vectors I'm going to use my 20mm hole finish depth is 18mm and the tool that I'm going to use is a 20mm end mill as you can see I've not got one so I'm going to copy this 16mm one and then edit it so I'm going to change the description to 20mm end mill and change the diameter to 20mm step down and all of the step over and the spindle speed I'm just going to leave this for this example and OK that and I'm going to select the 20mm end mill I'm going to rename the toolpath to 20mm hole and then calculate now so that's given me a drilling toolpath here so I'll just close my dialog box and here you can see toolpath has been added to that list there so I'm going to simulate these toolpaths now just to check that they are working okay and I'm going to use standard resolution 
just simulate those there there you can see just zoom in here it's cut out the frame there's my 20 mil holes and it's created holes here which are not going right the way through it's created my groove so that seems to be fine what I can do now is right click on toolpaths and I can select save toolpaths as template I also have the option here save toolpath as template so I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to save these onto my desktop and call this cabinet and save this onto my desktop to use later so now with my toolpath template saved I'm going to go to file and open and I'm going to open a new model which is going to be the curved carcass model I'm not going to save this part here and I've already pre-generated all of the vectors for this particular part if I open up my vector layers you can see I have them on exactly the same layers and what I can do is to load a toolpath template so I'm going to load the cabinet toolpath template that previously I had saved and I'm going to open that and it's given me all of these toolpaths here so I can right click and select batch calculate and select all of these and click start and it will calculate all of these toolpaths again for me on every particular layer so there you can see it's created all of the toolpaths using the vector layer association so this has saved me an immense amount of time from just having to sort out all of the particular toolpaths if you were to keep on creating drawings that were like this and make sure that they had the same layers you would only ever need to have one toolpath template this saves quite a lot of time as you can see here the 20 mil hole that's still in red and if I come up to here it says 20 millimeter hole failed that's because there's not a 20 millimeter hole layer and there are no 20 millimeter holes on this particular part so I can just close that and I'm going to simulate all of the toolpaths and click simulate toolpath there you can see that's created a new cabinet for me and all that I have had to do is to bring in the toolpath template and then just batch calculate all of the toolpaths this is a great option for saving time